Hey everyone, this is attempt two at Adventure Eat with the Howling Hag. I am starting to record because I, I think I'm in a good spot. The Hag has seven life left. There's two monsters on the board plus the Hag. There are three time tokens left. Emerald has four HP and he just leveled up on his last attack. Thorgrim has two HP and I've got two healing surges. So I'm in a good spot. The environment is music to the damn. Whenever I place a new monster, I would draw two monsters and choose the one with more experience and discard the other. I let that slide because it's not too important, I don't think. Um, so, Emerald just attacked. So, he started his turn on this tile. He ends his turn, or his hero phase. So, another time token goes off. Um, then it is no experience. He didn't explore, so an encounter happens. Oh, oh, things were so good. It's the dart trap. And guess where it is? It's on the freaking tile itself. Uh, it will put this here. So the first thing to activate is the hag. She will move one. Next is the wolf. It will move two. One, two. And then the dart trap. Trigger the trap during your villain phase. Attack each hero on this tile. So it attacks Emerald. 10 and 8 is 18, and then his defense at leveled up is a 15, so he takes 2 damage. That stinks. But, we'll see what happens. It is now Thorgrim's turn, so I think Thorgrim, what are you going to do, Thorgrim? Uh, tile, one tile away from you, I could Lance of Faith, I could Healing Strike. I think I'm going to move him 1, 2, and then healing strike, so I'm going to attack the wolf. So it's enough to kill the wolf, so the wolf dies, the wolf goes to experience, I get a treasure card, your hero regains one hit point, since I used healing strike, emerald regains a hit point. And also, Emerald on his last treasure was uh, whenever a hero hits a monster with an attack, that hero regains a hit point. So Thorgrim gains another hit point for that. He did his move, he did his attack, so he ends. An encounter occurs. Each hero can Im immediately move up to his or her speed. After this move, each hero on a tile with no monsters takes one damage. Ooh. I am going to... Move speed, huh? That's one, two, three, four, five. I'll move Thorgrim over here, and I will leave Emerald here, so he'll take the damage. I'm only doing that because I'd rather get the uh, time tokens cleared off the board. So, Thorgrim, the hag activates, so she'll move to the closest hero. Then the rat will activate. So they will attack Thorgrim. That's enough to do a damage to him. It is now Emerald's turn. And I think what Emerald is going to do is try to disable this stupid trap. Ten. Nice. So the trap is gone. That was worth not attacking because that trap was killing me. So at the end of his hero phase, time token goes away. Encounter card. Icy Corridor, attack each hero on the active hero's tile. After the attack, place each hero on the active hero's tile on the tile within one tile of the active hero's tile. Heroes can be placed on different tiles. So many tiles. Uh, I don't have enough experience to negate it, so he's going to be attacked. 12 and 8 is going to kill him. So he loses 2 life, and he loses his life. After the attack, place each hero on the active hero's tile on the tile. I don't... Honestly, I don't know what happens after you kill a hero, if you can move them or not. Alright. So, looking at the book, it sounds like they stay on the tile that they die on. So, the last few videos, I know it was towards the end of the thing and it didn't matter, but I would usually move them after he got knocked over. But he's supposed to stay dead where he died. So, he's dead. 
the... I, I don't know, I guess I still do an encounter card because it's the villain phase, right? Let me see that too. I need to brush up on these rules. When heroes die like that, I think I continue the hero phase. Yeah, I believe so. I'm just going to keep going. So the monsters will will do their thing. The how, er, I guess since I didn't explore an encounter... Oh, no, the encounter killed me. So the Howling Hag is going to attack Thorgrim. 12 and 7 is enough to do a damage. And where is it going to teleport Thorgrim? 1. So he gets teleported all the way over here. Then after the Hag gets the Rat Swarm, so they'll move one. It is now Thorgrim's turn. He can move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And since he did not make an attack, he can give a, he can do or heal Emerald one, and that brings him back. I believe another rule that I gotta check. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Oh yes, so healing stands him back up, but dying doesn't mean you get rid of slowed and immobilized. So, I might have done that wrong somewhere along the way, but it matters not now. So I healed Emerald. I did not do an encounter, so attack the active hero. Oh boy. Uh, 19, that's definitely a hit. I would lose... I would die. I'm going to have to use my Shield of Faith to negate the attack. And it just does one damage to me. Because I cannot survive that. Wait a second. It was Emerald, so these shouldn't... This shouldn't have moved. Because it was Emerald, and he didn't control the rats. So now that it's Thorgrim's turn, the Hag will move, and the rats will move. I think I messed that up. Because for Thorgrim, it's the rat and the hag that's on his his side. So, it is now Emerald's turn. And he's going to use his daily power lightning bolt. It is the one that I got from upgrading. It says, attack one, two, or three monsters. Each tile can be within one tile of you. Ooh, maybe I don't want to use that. They have to be within a tile of me. Oh, I thought it was within three tiles. I guess I am attacking the Hag with a magic missile. That's going to be 7 and 8 is 15. That is enough to do a damage to her. And since I began and ended, the last of those come off and the encounter. Place the active hero on a tile within one tile of you that has the most... Place the active hero on a tile within one tile of you that has the most monsters. If no tile with when one of you has monsters, the active hero takes one damage. Okay, so, oh no, no, that kills him. Alright, so Emerald dies again, but he might not stay dead again. So, uh, for him, it's just the hag that's going to move over here. And now it is Thorgrim's turn. So Thorgrim is going to do this. He's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and he's going to do Healing Strike. No! 2 and 1 for the Magic Sword is 3, and 8 is 11. That's not enough, so it's a miss. That's unfortunate. It is now an encounter. Attack each hero on the active hero's tile. That's a miss but it still does the damage, so I die. Alright. If I'm hit, I have to discard a treasure at random. That's not good either, because I like my magic sword. Since they're dead, I think the hag is just going to stay where it is. I lost the necklace of fireballs. So the hag's going to stay where it is, and the rat's going to move one, just because... I don't know. Whatever. Emerald will come back to life on his turn, so he gets 4 HP back, since he's level 2 now. Uh, he stands up. Do I want to do 
a fireball? That would do a lot more damage. Yeah, I'm going to use... Oh, actually... Yeah, I'll use... Oh, yeah, whatever. I'll use Potion of Rejuvenation. It lets me flip up one of my used powers. So, he had that on him. And I will flip over Fireball, and I will do Fireball, which is not the drink I'm drinking, it is the attack. Choose a tile within one tile of you, attack each monster, it does three if it hits, one if it misses. So the Hag first, nine and seven is sixteen, which is enough to do three damage to her. She has three life left, and then the rats, it's going to kill the rats. Really kill the rats. So, harrowed experience, so I got more experience, so I can negate the encounter if it's bad, so, let's see, I attack, do I want to move one, no, if I don't move, it'll force the hag to come to me, so, ooh, I should have moved, each monster you control activates twice, so the hag will move one, and then it will attack me. That's enough to do a damage. And where is it sending me? To eight. That is back here in Nowheresville. Alright, so it is now Thorgrim's turn. He's going to stand up with his healing surge and gain four. And now it's a crunch because I've got nothing to save my butt. And she has three life left. He is going to, I guess he's going to Lance of Faith her, just because. Nice. Ooh, really nice, because I got the 5 experience. I think I'm going to level him up, because that will give him some life boost as well. So he's leveling up, and he gains 2 HP, and Alright, so I grabbed Flame Strike for him, which he will be using soon. So he did not do anything in encounter. Place each monster one tile closer to the active hero. Wonderful. Should have moved, didn't. Hag attacks him. 9 and 7 is 16. His defense is a 17. It's a block. So, he blocked it. It is now Emerald's turn. Emerald can go one, two, three, four, five, six, and make an attack on the hag with magic missile. And it'll do one damage to her. He did not explore, so encounter. Choose the hero controlling the fewest monster. That hero places a new monster on any tile with an unexplored edge. Not too worried. Let's see, I have to draw two because of music of the damned. And discard the zombie, and then bring in the gargoyle. But guess where the gargoyle is going? He will go... Here. <laughs> I think that's the best place that's always going to be two away from someone. So, gargoyle there. Hag is going to attack Thorgrim. And it's a miss. It's a two plus the seven. So Thorgrim is being lucky. And this might be it. Thorgrim. He is going to Flame Strike. Choose a tile within two tiles of you. Attack each monster on that tile. He chooses the Hag. It is a plus six. He gets a plus one because the Hag's adjacent, so that's plus seven to whatever I roll. I need an eight to win the game. I got a three. That's Thorgrim for you. When it misses, it does one damage, so at least she takes one damage. And since he did that, I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five. Then an encounter happens. Star tile is not in place, so discard it. Each monster you control activates twice during your villain phase. So it was Thorgrim, so the hag moves twice. One, two. Oh, that was freaky. I don't know if you guys can hear it. There's like a dog howling out there. I was not expecting that. Um, so the hag moved twice. That's it for her. It is now Emerald's turn. And Emerald is going to end this because 
he knows how to do things. He's got the lightning bolt, which I can attack the monster. And if it's a hit, it's two damage. If it's a miss, it's one damage. So I will roll. Seven and seven is fourteen. So it is a miss, but it still does the one damage. So it will kill the hag, and that is it for this level, I believe. Right? Let me check. The heroes win the adventure by defeating the howling hag and disrupting the ritual by making sure there are no time tokens remaining on the arcane circle dial. Alright, cool. I assume I had to kill the, the hag. Uh, whatever, I did both, so... That means I did it. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this one wrapped up quicker than I thought it would for the second take. Yeah, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll keep putting out more videos for you guys. Alright, thanks. Bye.